right, hey y'all, it's Cat and Coco. Here's my baby Coco. Let me give y'all a good look at her. Here's Coco. This is my big girl. She hey to everybody, big girl. She still has her beautiful green eyes. She's in my big girl. This is my big girl Coco. Yes, she is wearing a seer sucker. Okay, stay. Stay. And yes, I am bribing her. Stay. To stay. So y'all can get a good look at her. Alright, so here's my baby Coco. And there's and there she went. Anywho, hi everybody. It has been a minute. Yes, I know it's been a minute. I got y'all propped up kind of wobbly so so disclaimer I have a diffuser going I like an air purifier you're gonna hear that and I also have a fan I'm in that season of life where I have to have a fan I have a fan over my head and I have a little fan over to the side that sits on my vanity and they're going they're circulating air and air condition I need them and then I have this little girl here um so I'm here to do my update. Here, Coco. I'm here to do my update on Coco. I'm going to see if she'll sit up here for you guys. So you guys can look at her really good. Um, yes, I still give her those puppy um, Slim Jims when I want her to stay for videos. Um, because Coco is a hot mess. And see, she gone already. Um, Coco, come over here. Come on. This is Coco, y'all. This is Coco. She's so, she's so precious. She's 10 months now. Um, I want y'all to get a good look at her because she's not going to stay still the whole time. She might come around. She might come around. But anyway, that's my baby Coco. Um, she is wearing a cute little seersucker dress. We got it from Big Lots, guys. I do order a lot of her clothes. I'm going to do like a mini baby, a mini, a mini puppy haul of clothes, of dresses that I've got for her. I do order some things from Amazon, but honestly, Big Lots has way better things and you don't have to worry about it. And when you get it, it fits. Like, this is Ellen's line of clothes that Ellen has for uh, puppies. I'm trying to see if y'all can see my girl. Ooh, ooh, so cute. It even has a little like peplum to make it kind of stand out a little bit. This is from Ellen's line. And Coco wears a medium. It's a little bit big around her neck because I mean they have small necks, but um they fit her really good. When I order things from Amazon, um in a small or in a medium, they, they're just too small. They like stop way up here, which is okay, but no. Coco is a big Yorkie. She is, the last time I took her, she was 10 pounds. Um, so she's probably like 11, 12 pounds now. So she's a big, she's a big, she's a big girl. Yeah, I'm a big girl. But again, we're still keeping her fluffy, y'all. It has been a challenge finding a groomer to listen to what you ask them to do for your pup. They literally do what they want to do. Um, I ask them to, I, I love her chocolate coat. And as y'all know, Yorkies change colors and stuff. But I really wanted to keep, grow out her ponytail um, as long as I could. And I wrote it down, took pictures, told them. And when I picked her up, they chopped her ponytail off. We've been to four different groomers and none of them have listened. They've all done whatever it is they wanted to do. And so my husband decided that we were just going to groom her ourselves from now on. She still goes to get those nice deep baths. Um, I still bathe her once a week. She's a house dog and because she's a house dog, um, she's in her, she lays on the bed, she's on the couch. So, she has to be clean. Um, last time some people told me, that's too much, that's too often to wash her. To each their own. My vet said that's fine. I wash her once a week. And because Yorkies have hair and not fur, I don't, I'm, I'm guessing, her hair gets greasy. 
by Saturday, I wash her every Saturday. By Saturday, she needs that bath. So, I bathe her once a week. I also have been using this leave-in conditioner spray. You get it from Target. It smells so good um, on her hair when, when she's wet right before I blow dry her because I do blow dry her dry because, again, she has hair and you don't want them smelling mildewy and I don't, I don't want water in her ears and stuff. So, I can make sure her ears are cleaned out. We're still brushing her teeth. Um, I just pick up her toothpaste and toothbrush from um, Home Goods. So, we're still doing that. She's literally laying right here for me. She's really sleepy. I wanted her to go to sleep up here, but she likes to be right here up under us. Let me see if I can get her, put her treat up here if she'll go up there. So, I, I don't know if I said it, but I get her Slim Jims from, um, her dog treats Slim Jims from, um, I get them from the Dollar Tree. So... I'm trying to see if she'll sit up here and eat her snacks so that y'all can see her. Okay, yeah. She, she'll she stand there for a second. But anyway, that's my baby Coco. I'm still loving her, still enjoying her. Coco is 10 months. This is her 10 month update. So, so I was going to try to do these until up until she's one. And then um, we would go from there. Um, but I love doing these Yorkie talks and talking about her. Coco is still such a pleasure, such a joy. She's really good, still really good for my soul. But anyway, into the haul really quickly. So I prefer to use these kind of, and these I get from Big Lots as well, and I have them in so many different colors. But these kind of horn, uh, what are they called? Not horsters, but harnesses. Is that how you say it? Harness? These, I, I prefer to use these in the kind that actually have a clip. Because the kind that just have Velcro, especially for my dog, she's a wild child. Um, they just, um, she just can break away from them. So if you can find a good one that has this right here, that's really good um, with the Velcro. Ellen, so this is just Big Lots brand. These are Ellen's brands which hers has just that velcro she has some that have the the clip on them but i mostly use these if i'm just gonna have her in and out of the car but not for like walks but these are so cute because it's an outfit and it's practical because you can just you know i put this on her if we're just going for a ride because she has a seat a car seat and in the car seat there's a hook and I just hook her to the car seat like that on here. And I, I prefer not to do it to her neck because I don't want her choking. And she likes to look out the window. So I got these from Big Lots. Uh, and these are also, this is also part of Ellen's new line with Big Lots. And again, I get her medium and everything. This fits her perfect. Again, she's like 10, maybe 12 pounds at this point. Um... And the mediums, Ellen's mediums, fit perfect. This fits her so far. I cannot wait till the weather changes just a little bit. We're in the south, so it's really, really hot here. So, I haven't put that on her yet. Y'all, I got her these really cute two-piece bathing suits. <laughs> now, this is something like from Amazon, and it's just ill-fit. It just, the bottoms are too short. The top is too loose. I rigged it up for some pictures, but honestly, you know, this is why I prefer... Let me take it off here so you can really see it. And it's a small, and it just doesn't fit well. It just... It just... This is too big around her waist, but this is so cute. It, it worked for pictures. It's a small, and it's just too big. And here are the bottoms. Look at on the little booty. has a little ruffle. <laughs> Oh my god. So cute. Then I got her from Pet Smart cuz they do have they have clothes there. I mean my Pet Smart is always out of everything. But I was able to get her this really cute dress. Look how cute. It has puff sleeves. It fits her really well. Let me see if Coco let me um 
try try some of these dresses on. It fits her really well. Um, I actually have a matching dress. Coco, can will you put your dress on for them? I also. Well, there goes her bow. I actually have a matching dress just like this. We took pictures. Follow me on Instagram. It's Miss Cat's Life. And um, me and Coco took some pictures over there on Instagram. And, um, I mean, I just posted. We, we were dressed alike one day. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm posting this. It just happened. Um, I just, I literally bought this dress from a store called Gabe's and then the next day when I went to pick her up from getting groomed they literally had this dress so okay okay I put this dress on her backwards because somebody won't be still actually this is her nap time so which is why I always try to do the videos around Coco's nap time um but anyway I got this dress from Pet Smart. It's a really cute little dress. And let me tell y'all something about these dresses. I like the dresses when they make these dog clothes. They have the Velcro. Like you could just snap them on, snap them off. Like, even though we like to dress them, these are not children. Okay. So this is the medium. Oh, this is the medium. Look how cute. It fits her perfect. This is how I like her dresses to fit. And y'all look at the little puff her little puff sleeves her little puff sleeves and I have no idea where her bow is so we'll just put another bow in because Coco is a wild child and she she loses bows all the time which is why I'm constantly buying bows because she constantly loses bows because she could just shake them out so yeah Looky there. She looks so cute. Okay. I'm not going to try nothing else on you, Coco. I just want to show y'all what the medium looks like. I got this from Ross with a matching hat. Actually, that's not true. I got this from PetSmart too, and it has a matching hat. And the hat stays on really well, but when I was at my girlfriend's house, I left her hat there. It wasn't, wasn't Coco's fault. She actually let me take several pictures with her. And I got this in a medium. And it fits really good. So Pet Smart's clothes. And I've washed this. And it came. It washed really well. Pet Smart does pretty good. Um, I do get her stuff from Ross. I got this little Hawaiian thing. Just like a regular little sundress. Um, these straps are useless. And I just can't get them to get right after I wash them. But I got it from Ross. And you know, Ross's clothes are the cheapest. They're like $4.99. I think I paid $12.99 for this little dress. And it's not that good of material. It's very thin. But it did come with the hat. So it was worth it. And I paid $12.99 for this little black dress she has on. But all of Ellen's clothes are like $9.99. So they're not that expensive. I mean, I've paid more for um, Coco's dresses. All right. And then my cousin got her she is too much she's gonna wear for her birthday a gucci dress it's denim it's heavy and it also came with a um with a chain to walk her so it came with a denim chain that i already be that i'm already using but it has the claps up here to go around her neck it has this really pretty a denim flower on it um, and it fits her perfectly, and it's, it's the extra, it's 2X, which, it says 2X, but it's a medium. But he won't tell me where he got it from. So, romp romp. But I did order her a Bowberry print dress, and from Amazon, in a medium, and it is like, like a doll baby dress so and it was $20 so I'll be taking that back to Kohl's to get my money back all right on my last video somebody asked me how do I get those bows in her hair as y'all can see she shakes her bows and stuff off I just keep putting them back in her hair but what I do is when I buy bows that are like this I take this part off most of the time sometimes I keep them 
I keep the ones that clip, that close, that clap, that have the actual clip on them. Those I keep. But if they come like this, you see how they just have that little like duck bill. I take those off and I add um, a rubber band to them. I'm trying to find one that I've done. Um, I add rubber bands to them so that, you see, I take them off and I just add two rubber bands to the back so I could just tie them on because they clip on better and I'm not, I'm not worried about like digging into her scalp. So I just use these rubber, the rubber bands and gather up. Like I said, they cut her ponytail. She had a really long ponytail, good size ponytail growing. Y'all saw her last video. And, um, I just gather her little hair up and do it around twice. And you, and you want to make sure that you're able to like fit a comb up under it, up under her bow, because that's how you make sure you're not pulling her hair too tight. But sometimes I just put a little rubber band on and then just clip her bow on. Coco has so many different types of bows. This is like a, you can't tell because I got all this light going. This is like a sequency bow. And I even have these little, these are little like flowers. And so, she'll have two little ponytails, and I'll just clip these on to them. They don't last long. Those are more so just for pictures. Um, I, I like having little mini bows, and it, this is a good example. These have clippers on them, but I sew a rubber band on them. Yes, like, they're like, I know you're thinking, who has the time to sew me? But if you don't want to, you can buy the little bows from Amazon. I think you can get like a pack of 40. But I don't like any of the... I don't know. I like to pick out the bows I want. And like... When her hair... Look at this great big old bow. It's bigger than her. But... How cute. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I mean... Look at this bow on this girl. And like... I collect bows. I have a whole... Look at this girl. I'm like, God, I just love her so much. I collect bows for this little girl. And so, I mean, I get them from the Dollar Tree. Look at this for um, fall. This matches the bowberry... Well, it was supposed to match the bowberry dress because it had, like, burgundy, real pronounced burgundy in it. So, I wanted her to have burgundy bows for it, but... I'm returning that and then I think I've shown y'all this little rhinestone bows. I have two of those two of these for her alright y'all I didn't want to hold y'all a lot of people ask me lots of questions about Coco so I just wanted to give y'all a update on my little girl and show y'all how she's doing she's doing really good she's growing she's getting better with pottying but it is still a daily work it still takes daily daily um effort we're still working on it we still do potty pads around the house and there's just certain areas where she likes to go pee and i just put the potty pads but we're also taking her out a lot more we just moved which is another reason why i haven't put up any videos and so we have a completely fenced backyard that she's able to go out of but anyway i'm still loving my little girl i love being a puppy mom um coco again i love to say that she's just good for my soul so if you're thinking about getting a yorkie get one but please have enough time because these take a lot of time consideration please don't get a dog to keep them in a crate all day it's not fair to them i don't think it is but anyway love on your dogs Enjoy them. Thank y'all for watching. Be blessed.